Welcome back, fellow space engineers. I am the Linking Tinker, and this is the first video in the tutorial series on how to use the Easy Automation program. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to set all the physical components up, as well as how to use some of the most basic functionality that we put into the LCD itself. So, let's get started. First thing we're going to want to do is put down a timer block and a programming block. Let's put that right side up. There we go. And we'll edit the code in the programming block. At first, we'll change the names. So we'll call this the tutorial PB for programming block. And we'll call the timer block tutorial TB for timer block. And before we leave this timer block, let's set up its actions and it's basically just going to run the programming block without any arguments. All right, so the tutorial TB is set up. We'll set up the tutorial PB. So we'll edit the code and browse the workshop and load up the easy automation program. Now, before we leave this screen, we want to change one little thing and that's this linked TB name and that is the tutorial TB that we just renamed. So we'll change this to tutorial TB inside the quotation marks. So now we've got that set up, we'll remember and exit. So now the tutorial PB and the tutorial TB are linked. Now we're going to need a LCD. So we'll put that right here and we'll rename that guy to, you guessed it, Tutorial LCD. All right, so now we've got the basics of the program set up. It's got everything it needs. So we'll put down something that we can play with, like a button and some lights. Cool. We'll give those lights some unique names so we can reference them. So we'll call these Toot Light. Zero one. And Toot Light Zero Two. Cool. Now let's turn those off for now. Now, in order to manipulate those lights, we're going to need a code block in the LCD. So we'll come into the private text of the LCD, and we'll write down a code block. It begins with the at symbol, and then we'll make up a name for it. Uh, since it's dealing with lights, we'll just call it lights, simple enough. And then we have an open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket and inside here will be all the code for our lights. Okay, so now we've got an LCD and on that private in, on the private text of that LCD, we've got a code block called lights. Now, in order to access that code block, we need something like a button or a timer block or a sensor that can activate the programming block and send it an argument. So let's set up this button right now. So we'll grab the tutorial programming block and have it run. And when it runs, we'll send it the argument and the argument is going to be the name of the LCD, which is tutorial LCD. And then inside brackets, we're going to put the name of the code block, which was lights. Confirm. Cool, so now when we press this button, it activates the programming block and tells it, hey, take a look at this LCD and take a look at this, uh, this code block. So now that we've got that set up, let's give some instructions to this code block. So on, off, toot, light, zero, one. And this is an action and the name of the block. So 
it will toggle the toot light zero one on and off when we access this code block, which happens when we press the button. So when we press the button, the left light should turn on and off. On, off. Cool. Now if we change that just slightly by saying toot light zero two, now it controls the right light. Excellent. And if we make the name more general, like just toot light, since toot light is inside the name of toot light zero one and toot light zero two, it will affect both of the lights. And this is why it's important to have unique names, because if you don't, then you can accidentally try to activate stuff that you didn't intend to. So it's a good thing to keep in mind. So if you're wondering where I got this action here, and you are wondering what is available for the different blocks, well, that information is available right here on the programming block. If we go in here and edit, you'll see that we have a list of valid slider, slider inputs up at the top. And slightly farther down, we've got a list of valid action inputs. And this is where we took the on off action from. So here we have on off and you can see that it's available for most blocks. And if we want to do something with a piston, we can come down here and say, here's the pistons and here's the actions available for the pistons. So the piston can extend, retract and traverse as can the rotor. So yeah, if you do an action, it's basically the action and then the name of the block. It's pretty simple. So now let's go over how we can slet, set uh, slider values. So when we set slider values, we put in a slightly different uh, set of code. And I'll show you that now. Let's bring something out that has a slider value, like a piston. So we'll set that piston down and we'll give it a name, toot pist. Uh, zero one and uh, now that we've got the piston let's make a code block for it so we'll come into the private text of this LCD and say at uh, da, 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 pist velocity open curly bracket close curly bracket so we're going to be changing the piston velocity and we know that we can do that because here in the tutorial programming block, when we edit, we can come down to the piston options in the list of valid slider inputs. And we see that velocity is available to change. That's one of its sliders. So we'll come back to the LCD and say velocity. of the toot pist zero one equals and then we put down the velocity that we want like 1.321 so as you can see we can set very specific slider values which is pretty nice that's something that was available before so okay now that we've got a code block we need something that can access that so We've got a, another button here, and we'll set it up like we did the previous one by dragging the tutorial programming block down and giving it the name of the LCD, which is tutorial LCD. And then inside brackets, we'll put the name of the code block, which was pissed velocity. See if I can spell this right. There we go. <laughs> Confirm. All right, so now when we press this button, it should extend the piston at 1.321 meters per second. And I did something wrong. Pist velocity. I spelled velocity wrong. So 
as you can see it's important to spell these things correctly so now when I press this button the piston extends and as you can see here in the piston when we press control click on the velocity slider you can see that it did in fact set it to 1.321 meters per second sweet so that's the basics on how you can set slider values as well as have actions happen like turning things on and off uh, there are a few specific in instances that are slightly different and I'll show you those now like setting the color of a light if you want to do that you're going to need to instead of just entering a number you'll have to enter in a, gr a red green blue number so we'll come in here to the private title again and we'll just tack that onto this lights uh, code block so we'll say color of toot light equals then zero comma zero comma zero so we've got three numbers here each one's uh, separated by a comma the first number is the red value the second number is the green value and the third number is the blue value so let's turn these to the maximum green that we can because I like green so we'll say 256 because that's the maximum capacity for color and okay so now when we press this button it should toggle the lights on and off but not only that it will also turn them green now we have green lights sweet now there's one more thing that's slightly different in the slider type of input and that's if we want to set an image on an LCD so if we want to set the image we'll say image of then the name of the LCD and we'll just use the LCD that we have here so tutorial LCD equals and then we're going to put down the name instead of a number or a color value so in order to understand what those names are we'll come down here inside the text panel and find the loaded textures and here we've got all the various images that we can display on the LCD so let's just display the cross on there so we will say cross image of tutorial LCD equals cross all right so now when we press the lights button it will turn them on or off it will turn them green and it will also display the cross on the LCD here so press the button excellent I did everything cool so that's basically how you use the action and the slider inputs as well as setting up all the basic components of this program. In the next tutorial, we're going to be going over how to write text to the LCD as well as use the delay, uh, what is it, uh, statement. Yeah, that's it. All right. So I'll see you in the next video. Later.